All right, people, what is up and welcome back. So today we're gonna be showing y'all how to make a popping cork just like this, just like the ones that we always use. Um, prefer to make my own popping corks just because you can customize them however you want, however many beads you want on them, the size weight you want so you can cast farther, anything like that. And uh, it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying, you know, two corks for seven or eight bucks. This thing right here with all the supplies that you buy for it, you could probably make I don't know, 10 corks for around 10 bucks versus, you know, one for five if you buy it. So anyway, stay tuned. And then we're going to show you all exactly how we make this cork right here that gives you a nice pop. So let's get right into it. So all you need in order to make this super simple popping cork, best bang for your buck cork out there is a little bit of steel wire, barrel swivels, some sort of weight. We have worm weights here. You can use worm weights, egg sinkers, which is what I wish they had or we could use a, I think this is a trolling weight. And then red plastic beads, and of course, the flow or the cork itself. All right, now we're gonna get in and show you exactly how to put this all together. First, we're gonna start off with our wire right here. So we'll move this away. Um, so with the wire, what we have right here is a 100 pound test, just a single strand stainless steel leader. Um, honestly, this is a little bit more bendy than what I would like. As y'all can see, it's very flexible. Uh, like this one right here is old wire, different wire, and it's not as flexible, so it allows that cork to be a lot straighter. Um, this will work, but just thought I'd get that out of the way. You probably want to find something that's a little bit stiffer. Anyways, we're just going to start by taking off a little bit of wire leader right here, if I can get it. I'm not going to undo that. All right. It doesn't take much. You can always cut it bigger and then shrink it. That's more than we're going to need, but that'd be good. So we have about, let's say, I don't know, 10 inches or a foot of wire leader. And then we are going to start adding everything onto it and building this cork. All right, step one is to put a swivel on one of the ends. So these are just Eagle Claw, you know, cheap size seven swivels. Um, honestly, you can use any swivel you want, whatever weight. I would stick to 40 and above, not because you're going to be catching 40 pound fish, but just because they make it a lot easier to put on here. So we're going to take our leader, put our swivel on the end, just like that, slide it down about two inches and then bend it over. See, just sitting right there. Now we're just going to take our line and start twisting it, leave a little gap at the beginning. And then you can use this swivel to help you get leverage on twisting this. So something like you have to spin it this way. That'll help you twist the line, kind of like a handle. And you don't want to go straight across at first. You want to go down a little bit to get that grip. And once you go down a couple times, then you can start twisting it over. So it looks nice and neat. All right, so we did about six or seven twists right here. We're just going to cut off the extra. Make sure it doesn't go flying. And you can see that right there is exactly what you are looking for. And I'm not too concerned about it. Some people will sand this down so they don't get poked, but not too worried. That is the first part to the cork. Now we start putting on our beads. All right, we're gonna start building our cork right now. So I like to do two beads on top and then the float and then two beads on bottom with the weight. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can do one bead on top. You can do five beads on top. This is just what I like to do, super simple. So we'll start by threading our beads onto the wire. One, two. That's gonna go on top of our float, which these are just old floats right here. As you can tell, they're pretty beat up. That's next. And then we're gonna go another bead. I put one on each side of the weight, bead, and then weight. And this right here, guys, is a one fourth ounce worm weight. Um, you could really use, like I said before, any weight you want, egg sink or whatever. Um, just don't go too heavy. I wouldn't put an ounce on here because this float might have trouble holding it. And obviously it'll, you'll still, like the float will still be able to hold it up but your visibility will go down. Like even with a 5 8 ounce, you're only gonna be able to see about that much out of water. Versus a 4 ounce, you'll be able to see, you know, that much out, the, out of the water, which is what you want. Anyways, put our weight on there. If we put our weight on there, then we're gonna add another bead on the bottom. And that is our whole setup for the cork right there. So another thing about the weight is that the weight is gonna keep your cork floating straight up and down versus being sideways in the water. Sometimes you see these popping corks that don't have any weight on them and they'll be sideways in the water like this. And when you pull them, they just kind of slide across the water and they don't make that good 
popping noise that you want. So yes, that is the exact reason we put the weight on there. So to finish off the cork, all we're going to do is just add a, another barrel swivel to the very bottom, put it on there. You wanna leave about that much so you have enough room to get a pop on it. You don't wanna put it way up here because then your cork won't make any noise. You have to have everything on there to be able to slide. Okay, so we're just gonna do the same thing we did before. Start twisting it around if I can get it. Something like this. Like I said, you can use a swivel for a leverage on it. Twist however many times you like. I'm just gonna go ahead and do until I'm almost out of it. Doesn't really matter, it's good enough. Trim it. That went fine. Anyways, trim it and there you go guys. That is a ready to make popping cork. And that is exactly what you want to sound like. Now, some people like corks that have, or floats that have the like indention in the top, like a normal looking popping cork, not the this ball type. And I don't like them personally because whenever you pop them, they kind of chug in the water. Or they'll hold the water under. They bend your rod a lot. This is light, easy to cast, and uh, yeah, it doesn't pull too much water. And I like this sound better. Versus just chugging water almost is the best way I can describe it. So there you go, guys, right there. We're gonna run through it one more time and then that is it. So before we close out this video, I just wanted to run over one more time everything you need to make it simple for y'all. So you need wire, a little bit stiffer wire will be better, although you just need to make sure it is able to go through the weight and go through the beads. That's the only thing that matters, but a little bit stiffer, stiffer wire. And then obviously beads, whatever color, whatever shape, anything that you want. And then swivels right here and your choice of weights, warm weights, egg sinkers, this way it doesn't matter. And of course the float. So that is it. Super simple, cost-effective popping cork right here. Go out and make you one. Uh, see if you like it better than the ones that you buy in the store and make sure to hit that like button down below. Leave a comment. Let us know if y'all like these kind of informative videos whenever we're not out there fishing. If y'all want to see other stuff like this, how to make rigs, how to tie knots, you know, things of that sort. Short, quick, and to the point videos. Anyways, thank y'all so much. And until next time, peace.